Welcome to Children's Medical Research Institute, CMRI. We were Australia's first research organisation dedicated to improving the health of children, but we are best known for our Genes for Genes campaign, which raises awareness and funds for our research to find treatments and cures for children's genetic diseases and cancers. Cancer is the leading cause of death from disease in children aged 4 to 14 and one of the leading causes of death in adults worldwide, which is why CMRI started our international ProCan Cancer Project, the only one of its kind in the world. We are studying thousands of cancer samples from every type of cancer affecting children and adults. Samples are acquired from collaborators in Australia and all over the world and shipped to ProCan for analysis. ProCan has perfected a process that takes just four hours to make samples ready for analysis. One key step is the use of a barocycler, which uses immense pressure to pulverise cancer samples no larger than a grain of rice into a liquid for analysis. Prepared samples are analysed on mass spectrometers to generate proteomic data, i.e. protein fingerprints for each cancer. This big data is combined with even more big data on the cancer, such as its genomic DNA information and outcomes of previous cancer treatments. Our data scientists and software engineers are using this information to build a database of cancers that will help improve diagnosis and treatment planning worldwide and save millions of lives. But ProCan is just one of our cancer programs. Our imaging facility allows us to study living cells or visualise the fine details of DNA chromosomes like telomeres. Our genome integrity and telomere length regulation teams, for example, study how telomeres protect our genomes and how telomeres are regulated in normal cells as well as dysregulated to cause cancer. Many people don't realise that cancer is caused by genetic changes which cause normal cells to grow out of control. Telomeres are believed to be an Achilles heel for cancer. By controlling telomeres, we hope to stop cancer cell growth with fewer side effects than current cancer therapies. One in 20 children face a birth defect or genetic disease, like cystic fibrosis or life-threatening metabolic disorders. With over 6,000 genetic diseases, there is a lot of work to be done to find treatments and cures. While our gene therapy research program studies certain genetic diseases in detail, they are also working on treatment methods that can be used more broadly to treat as many different genetic diseases as possible. CMRI's Gene Therapy Research Unit is a collaboration with the Children's Hospital at Westmead and was involved in the first gene therapy trial in Australia and the first successful gene therapy trial in the world. Our gene therapy teams are developing new treatment methods, including modified viruses called vectors, carrying nanomachines that precisely identify the change in a patient's DNA that is causing a genetic disease and correct it. It's like surgery at the DNA level. CMRI researchers are leaders in gene therapy and vectorology and are creating the future of medicine in Australia now. Stem cells are another medicine of the future. The potential of regenerative medicine to replace faulty organs and treat currently untreatable conditions is offering hope to many. The Stem Cell Medicine Group and Stem Cell and Organoid Facility are experts at taking a sample of cells from a patient, such as skin or blood, and turning them into induced pluripotent stem cells or iPS cells. These cells can then be turned into many other types of cells, such as liver cells, retinal cells, heart cells, brain cells, and more. iPS cells can also be used to generate organoids, which are 3D mini organs, to model diseases and test potential new treatments. 
The Stem Cell Medicine Group specifically uses this technology to understand retinal disease mechanisms and develop new regenerative therapies such as gene therapies to offer hope for conditions where there was previously none. The cell signalling team have identified new drug targets for cancer, chronic pain, epilepsy and other conditions. We still need new treatments for the one in three epileptics who are not helped by current medications. They have been working with long-time collaborators at the University of Newcastle to develop whole new classes of compounds to treat these conditions. The drug screening facility helps test hundreds of potential compounds at a time. The facility is also used by our other research teams, such as those investigating potential drug treatments for cancer that target telomeres. Cellbank Australia is Oceana's only IDA-approved cell line repository. Cell lines act as model systems for scientists to study a wide range of diseases. We are building an Australian collection of novel cell lines for use in biomedical research such as mesothelioma and melanoma cell lines. Cellbank has over 900 cell lines stored on site at CMRI for distribution to other scientists who need them for their research and can source cell lines from the biorepositories ECACC in the UK and JCRB in Japan to grant researchers easy access to the cells they need. Cellbank is the only established international depository authority in Australia and Southeast Asia, which means researchers can safely store cell lines that are the subject of patents. Plus, we offer a wide range of other related services also, such as cell line authentication and mycoplasma testing. Our iGenetics research team tackles blinding eye conditions with the aim of preserving and restoring sight. Inherited retinal diseases are among the most common causes of blindness. To develop new therapies, genetic diagnosis is imperative, a difficult task with hundreds of genes involved in retinal diseases. The team uses genomics, retinal organoids and other model systems to diagnose the cause of blindness. In collaboration with the Children's Hospital at Westmead, their work has led to routine genomic diagnosis in the clinic. They are now working with the latest technologies of gene therapy, stem cells and retinal organoids to create and test potential new therapies that can prevent or even reverse blindness. A recent achievement was their involvement in implementing the first Therapeutic Goods Administration approved gene therapy treatment in Australia, which was used to restore vision to two teenagers with an inherited retinal disease who are now seeing stars in the night sky for the first time. Thank you for visiting Children's Medical Research Institute. We hope you are inspired by all the work being done here to improve the health of our children and of future generations.